New tonight, a man stuck in traffic, but all of a sudden he's right in the middle of a shootout. Guns in the open, shots fired. Our Charlie DeMar tracked down the driver with one wild story. 87th near Lafayette on Chicago's south side. It's where Huber Perez Negron found himself stuck in traffic, stopped at a red light, driving with a friend Thursday morning, just running some errands. His dash cam, which records inside the car and out, was rolling. First, someone gets out of the back seat of the car in front of Huber with a long gun and begins shooting. Another man also jumps out of the back seat and fires into traffic, aiming at a car stopped a few vehicles in front of Huber. And I saw the rifle in his hand. I, didn't, I really didn't think it was real. I really thought, man, these other guys are going to shoot back, and I'm directly right behind them. Huber and his friends slouch to try and avoid any possible incoming shots, but he doesn't take his seatbelt off. He doesn't even blink, staying focused on the action the entire time. And then the, sh the shots started coming in, and, or the guy started shooting, and uh, I tried to duck, but I wanted to see. And then a red vehicle started shooting at him. The rapid gunfire set off a nearby shot spotter. The audio sensor alerts police to the sound of gunfire. Two women reported the shooting, a car was struck, and a business also damaged. Reversing. I wanted to reverse, but I was I was kind of trapped, but I really couldn't go anywhere. I was, I was stuck. The first shots are fired from an automatic rifle, but as the video shows, the magazine Reversing. appears to drop out from the gun. That's when the shooter seemingly grabs another gun. The sound of the shots are different. He starts shooting, and all of a sudden, the, the magazine falls off, and so he stopped shooting. Otherwise, man, it could have been a lot worse. The light turns green. Huber makes his getaway as he inhales a sigh of relief. Now, nobody was hit by those bullets. Detectives believe that red car that the shooters were, were in was a red Nissan Altima. Huber says that he got that dash cam installed about six months ago after an accident, but never did he think that that dash cam would be the key piece of evidence in a shootout, no arrests have been made in this case. We are live tonight in the Streetside Studio. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News.